Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be installing Exchange 2016 using our Windows Server 2016 master image. The first thing we're going to do is resume the state of our DC1. Also DC2. Our PFSense virtual router. And then we're going to right click on the master. And manage and clone. Next, we're going to choose current state. We're going to create a linked clone and we're going to put this on the solid state drive. And I'm going to put it in a folder called exchange. You can name the VM Exchange. Once it's been created, let's go ahead and turn it on. And be sure to make sure be sure to check that the network is set for your lab connection. Once the VM boots, it's going to ask us for some of the initial questions and we're going to create a password. The next thing we'll do is join it to the domain, set the static IP address, and then check for updates. We can disable TCP IP version 4 or version 6. And the next available IP address that we can use is 172.16.0.8. And let's go ahead and check the time on our domain controllers to make sure they are synced to the current time and on mine DC1 is not so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly reboot it that way it syncs the time so we won't have any issues joining it to the domain all right while that's rebooting we can go ahead and join the exchange machine to the domain And we're going to want to increase the memory size from 6 gig to probably 8 on the Exchange server once we get it rebooted here in a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and allow remote connections on this one. And we're going to go ahead and turn the firewall off. And while we're here, we might as well go ahead and check for updates. I'm going to go ahead and install those updates and then we're going to reboot and then I'll resume the video. So here in just a couple minutes, again, we're going to install all the available updates for windows reboot, and then we're going to resume. Now that the updates have been installed, I've logged on as the domain administrator and I've made the VM full screen. Next, we're going to go to Microsoft's website to download the Exchange Server 2016. So you can just go to Microsoft.com and search Exchange 2016. And you can download the trial, which you can then convert to the full version if you have the license key. So we're going to save that download. 
Once the executable is downloaded, we can go ahead and click Run. And we can tell it to extract to the desktop, but let's first make a new folder. So we're just going to wait on this to extract. All right, so once extraction is complete, you'll see this message and you can go ahead and click OK and then you can run the setup down here alright so we can go ahead and connect to the internet and check for updates and it's going to take it just a few minutes to do that. All right, no updates were found. And it's going to start copying files for installation. All right, and then we can go ahead and click next on this, accept the terms, and you can use recommended settings. <clears throat> so Exchange Server will automatically check online for solutions when encountering errors and provide useful feedback to Microsoft, or don't use manually configure these settings after installation is complete. I'm gonna choose don't use recommended. And if you install the mailbox role, it's automatically gonna install the management tools. If you install Edge Transport, you can install the mailbox role. We do want to check automatically install Windows Server roles, and we want to choose the mailbox role. The default installation uh, location is fine. You can name this first organization, or if you want something else, you can. Uh, Active Directory split permission security model. So it's used by large organizations if you've got a different group or a team of people uh, managing your exchange environment. Most companies are going to not use this because that's the same people managing their Active Directory environment. And you can enable or disable malware scanning. I'm going to disable it just since we're in a VM with limited resources. So it's going to go ahead and configure the prereqs. All right, so we can start to see some issues here. Computer requires Microsoft Unified Communications. So you can download it here. So we can go ahead and get that downloaded. All right, so let's see what this is saying. So it's probably wanting us to run a domain prep first. All right, so that's been installed. Let's go ahead and run this command. Oops.
So let's go ahead and open PowerShell as an administrator. All right, so saying that's not valid. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install the .NET framework on here. So local server, manage, add roles and features. So .NET's already installed, so that's good. So to fix the error we're seeing, we actually need to download the cumulative update. Let's go ahead and save that on the desktop. And we're going to close out of this exchange installer. All right, so since that's downloaded, you can just double click on the ISO and it's mounted. And then now we can open and set up again. We can delete the old folder that we made on the desktop. All right, so we'll go ahead and click next, accept, next. Don't use recommended settings, mailbox role, automatically install roles, default locations fine, next. If you want to disable, All right, so now we didn't get that error. That's because Microsoft had left something out on the original uh, Exchange 2016 install. And that's why we downloaded the cumulative update eight. So it's gonna go through 15 steps to prepare the organization. So I'm just gonna pause the video until that finishes. All right, so just here in a minute, we're gonna see the exchange control panel. So 
so we can log in as lab slash administrator. It's going to take a, a minute to load. All right, so once we've got logged in here, we can see that there's one mailbox, the administrator. To access that mailbox, you can just type https colon forward slash forward slash exchange slash owa. And we can go ahead and tell it our time zone. And we now have access to our inbox. So that's a very basic level of installing Exchange. Uh, in the next video, we'll be configuring this further.